Welcome back to this playthrough for Wing Commander 4. In the last video, we repelled a Confederation attack on our humble little, <laughs> I don't know what to call this thing, piece of junk. So let's go to the galley see if there's anybody to talk to. Sure. I think I already have, Lieutenant Sosa. Oh, sorry, sir. What you got there? Uh, well, look at me. I'm I'm stuck in the Stone Age. I mean, so much of our equipment is down. I've got to resort to prehistoric tools in order to decrypt this info Captain Eisen brought with him. So, you have a talent for decoding. Well, um, yeah, sir. I mean, I I don't mean to brag, but I'm definitely one of the best. Wow. Anything there? Plenty. It's just gonna take me some time. One thing's for sure. Confed definitely has a lot of skeletons in its lockers. Storage hole? Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Bridge used to be up there. Births were farther up. Poor bastards. Never knew what hit them. At least when I go, I'll be in a cockpit. Come on, cheer up. I still say it'll be friendly fire that gets you. I don't know. The side we picked to be on has a long, hard road ahead. Will you look on the bright side? At least now you won't have to deal with that confed promotion that finally came through. My promotion came? My promotion? Confed, I, that's not right. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. I say we just cut our losses and pull back. The jump point is the quickest way out of the system. That's way too obvious. I say we stay and hurt the Lexington as much as possible. That way we'll be hurting Confed too. How long have they been carrying on like this? Because there's something you don't understand. It's Look, typical. You're both right and you're both wrong. Attacking the Lexington is a waste of valuable resources. Beating a hasty retreat is a wiser course of action. The jump point is the most obvious exit route. The Salinas Nebulas might be a better way out. Either way, I don't think the Lexington is going to just let us cruise away. I'll bet you'll get a chance to inflict damage on her, or sustain more yourself. What do you think, Colonel? I think this ship needs a captain. I'll do the best I can. Supposed to be somewhere we're supposed to talk to here that gives us a choice. Maybe he's in here. Ah, oh, there he is. Blair. Well, hooray. Guess that means we're gonna win this thing after all, right? <laughs> Welcome aboard, kid. Chief Tech Robert Sykes. <laughs> you can call me Pliers. Thanks, Pliers. <laughs> I haven't seen one of those birds in quite a while. Not up close, anyway. Yeah, I bet you worked on plenty of them. Oh, uh, yeah. Used to pull Kilrathy whiskers out of the intakes for kids like you. <laughs> 
Yeah, I could do a few things with that baby. Hey, don't let these gray hairs fool you, kid. I can still perform miracles with nothing more than a socket driver and a pile of junk parts. It's to me like you kind of have to. Yeah. Plus, I could tweak those birds way beyond the specs those egghead engineers come up with. Bet this old coot knows what he's doing. <laughs> Look at the, uh, the tobacco liquid on his lips. Ew. Well, great. I can use all the help I can get out there. Well, just wait and see what I can do, kid. Trust me. So how do we get to the actual mission? Ah, here we go. Ten breathing. Got it. Happy to see you back where you belong, Captain. Thank you, Colonel. You had no small part in it. Well, to business. As you know, to avoid further harassment, the Intrepid's going to try and make its way out of this system through this nebula. I'd like you and a wingman to scout ahead, clear the area of any hostiles you might encounter. Understood, sir. Good luck, Colonel. Standing there. Not let me. Uh... Oh, <laughs> it's pliers. I was able to pull a storm fire off a junk pirate fighter we just hauled in. Boy, old technology, but damn effective. Fires a shitload of small, low density projectiles at extremely high velocity. Just paint your target and let her rip. If the range wasn't so damn short, they'd still be around today. Try it out and see how you like it. So, let's see here. 400 DU penetration. 20 second lock time. Stick with the uh, IRs. Oh, cat scratch a try. Why not? Sir. Break formation and open fire. I'm going for it, Colonel. Formation and open fire. I'm going for it, Colonel.
Formation and open fire. I'm going for it, Colonel. Clearance. Okay. Great work, Colonel, but there's been a change of plans. We've discovered a backdoor jump point that'll be easier for Intrepid to navigate in her current condition. So, jump clearance. All right. So, um, yeah, flying in nebulas. Not really, not really all that fun. <laughs> Very um, weird color filter, to say the least. But anyway, that'll do it for this video. That's the uh, second mission in the Salinas system. And one more to go before we jump out. And the next one should be a pretty, uh, pretty big one. Until then, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. <laughs>